wearable gadgets like Google Glass could one day be a vast new source, source of profits for tech companies. How can you invest wisely in it now, though? That's the question that Barron's columnist Jack Howe is here to answer. Jack, how are you? I'm fine. Thanks. Uh, is that Google you, Glass? Uh, I'm not wearing them. Are you? No, 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 no Google Glasses. No. I don't have uh, an eye watch or anything right, like right. that. But who I don't have a cybernetic implant. It, right. Who's to say what direction the technology will go? We, mm -hmm. Five years from now, we could be wearing computerized underpants for all I can predict. Uh, Who knows? I, this whole thing frightens me, i got to tell you honestly. It's, well, it's very disturbing. If, if you're a stock investor, right? Yes. You can, you, this isn't really a reason to get excited about Apple or Google because it's far too small of a piece of mm -hmm. the pie for the foreseeable future. And it's too difficult to predict what kinds of gadgets... Uh, the internet will spread to what kinds of new, you know, unforeseen sure, what's devices. what's going to make it, what, you know, it's one thing for Google Glass to say we have this product and you see it right there. It's another thing for the market to adopt it. Right, so I, so I think that for investors looking to get some kind of exposure yeah. to the future of wearable computing, a good stock to look at is Teradyne, right? This is a company... Not a household name. Right. It's a company that makes test equipment for all kinds of electronic innards, computer chips, wireless chips, mm -hmm. hard drives, that mm -hmm. sort of thing. Manufacturers need test equipment. It helps to detect flaws when they're creating the stuff. It helps them to increase their production yields, and ultimately it helps them to bring down costs. So everyone needs test mm -hmm. equipment. Teradyne is a market leader. Um, it, it has a lot of exposure to computer chips, and that's been in a lull for a few years now. But there's a couple reasons to like the stock, with or without a future in wearable computing. Uh, first of all, it has fast growth in wireless right now. It, it bought its way into the wire business and wireless business, and it looks to be gaining share there and gaining share in hard drives. As that happens, it helps to offset some of the swings in computer chips. But it, it also has the makings of a rebound in computer chips right now. Apple is moving some of its chip production to a new foundry, and when you do that, you have to buy new test equipment. So there's some good news for the stock. It trades at about 10 times next year's earnings. And Wherever the new computers show up, right. this is a company that's poised to benefit. And it's not a tremendously pricey stock. And I thought this was actually a pretty, you know, I, I like your stuff all the time, Jack. But I thought this was a you're, very sort of... You're going to make me blush, Paul. Come no, on. no, I thought this was a good call on your part. I, I like you. the way, it shows the way you think, and I like that. What, though, are the sort of, what are the competitive challenges for this company? They're not the only company that makes test equipment, right? They're not. Uh, but, you know, it, it's an area where there had been too many competitors and weak pricing in the past. Now you're down to basically two major players mm -hmm. in, in the market for computer chip test equipment. So margins have at least been strong. There haven't been the volumes that these companies are looking for yet, but we could see a rebound there. Um, but, you know, there, there, there is competition. Um, I, I think what's happening for this company is it's going from a past to being a highly cyclical company to a future of having several different revenue streams and having smoother earnings. Mm -hmm. When that happens, I don't think that this is a stock that's going to go from 10 times next year's earnings to maybe 15 times earnings in the future. I think investors are always going to be a little bit wary about this business, but it, maybe it'll go from 10 times earnings to 12 times earnings or something like that. And earnings right now are poised to increase from under a dollar forty this year to possibly two dollars and fifty cents a few years out uh, per share. So good earnings growth and the stock could attract more fans among investors and then there's always the wild card that you'll see this company you know cash in on a future in wearable computing yeah and a decent PE to boot yeah yeah all right Jack excellent stuff thank Thanks, you Paul. very much